Hello folks, I'm Doc Sanders. Carbon footprint is the leading buzzword among environmentalists. It describes the impact that we have on the environment in terms of the amount of carbon dioxide or methane emitted into the atmosphere by the things we humans produce or use, from cars and fossil fuels to milk and beer. Cars are considered the worst offenders. A mid-sized sedan emits an estimated 63 tons of CO2 during an average 120,000 mile lifetime. A Prius, on the other hand, produces 44 tons, while an SUV's carbon footprint is likely to weigh in at 118 tons. 4% of a vehicle's carbon footprint is created during the manufacturing process, while the rest is attributed to gas consumption, oil changes, tires, and maintenance. Like CO2, methane contains carbon but it's 25 times more damaging to the environment. However, because there's much less methane in the atmosphere than CO2, methane's global impact is about half that of CO2 emissions. The government rates products or practices as either carbon debits or credits depending upon whether they create a net increase or decrease in carbon emissions. Examples of carbon credits which reduce CO2 in the atmosphere include planting trees, establishing grass pasture lands, covering manure lagoons to capture methane, or capturing methane from a landfill. If your conscience is being pricked by your daily CO2 contribution, you can salve your guilt by purchasing carbon credits on the Chicago Climate Exchange just like shares on the stock market. When you buy a carbon credit, you supposedly reduce your net CO2 contribution to the environment. This has become a big business. In essence, for every pound of carbon dioxide generated, an investment can be made in a project that uses up carbon dioxide. As a consumer, you can purchase offsetting carbon credits for as little as $1.80 up to $300 a pound of CO2. 80% of credits are sold to major corporations, such as utilities, to offset the environmental impact of coal generating plants. Other purchasers include environmentally conscious individuals who offset the CO2 they contribute because of driving an SUV or traveling by air. Others just want to do something to improve the environment. Companies marketing carbon credits sell them just like pork bellies on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. However, the carbon credit exchange is a nebulous business, as you might expect, of an enterprise that involves gases that dissipate in the air. Sellers of carbon credits can include the Conservation Fund, which plants trees that take in CO2, dairy farms that use a digester to capture methane from cow slurry and manure lagoons to generate electricity, municipalities that trap methane from landfills and burn it in gas flares. About that last example, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, burning methane creates more CO2. And you're right. But since methane is 25 times more biologically potent in the environment than CO2, converting methane to CO2 is a positive step. Municipalities can earn extra income on their landfill operations when they are equipped to capture the methane and burn it or utilize it for energy, then sell the carbon credits. Carbon offsets appear to be a simple transaction the buyer uses an online tool to calculate his or her carbon footprint based on the car he or she drives, number of airplane flights, and other carbon emitting activities. The nebulous part of the carbon credit exchange is that the seller depends on the buyer of the credits to engage in practices that truly eliminate the amount of CO2 the seller generated. In reality, Carbon offsets are a psychological boost to the environmentally minded. Ironically, the carbon credit market has skyrocketed while the stock of major carbon credit players, such as GM, 
is down by over 60% during the same period, before the current credit crisis. If you were in the dark about your carbon footprint before watching this, now you too can decide whether you'd like to gain some carbon credits by investing in environmentally friendly projects. Well, that's it for today, folks. I'm Doc Sanders, and we'll see you down the road.